Hi, I'm Josh from eSpares, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to change the timer in your oven. Um, if the display is quite dim in your oven, or if it's not there at all, or if you're having any problems um, using the buttons on your oven and the timer isn't responding to them, then there's a good chance that it's faulty and it'll need to be replaced. Um, now, safety first, make sure you've unplugged your oven from the mains. If it's wired in, make sure it's turned off. Um, and the first thing that we'll need to do is remove the buttons from the front panel. Um, if the buttons are like this one and they have specific markings on them, then it's a good idea to take a photo of them to remind yourself of their layout when you're putting them back on. Now to get the buttons off, I'm going to prise them off using a flat blade screwdriver and I'm just going to pop um, a cloth underneath so I don't damage the surface. Now I've got the buttons off, the next thing I need to do is to remove the top panel so I can gain access to the timer module inside. Now I've got the top panel off, I'm just going to turn the oven around so you can get a better look at what we're doing inside. Now this is the timer module here. Um, the first thing that we need to do is to um, unclip it. Um, it may be on your oven that it's actually held onto the front panel with a bracket, in which case you'll need to remove that bracket in order to remove the timer module. But on this one, I can just use a flat blade screwdriver to pop the clips and pull it off. Now the original timer is no longer available and it's been substituted by the manufacturer for this one which looks slightly different. Um, but as long as you transfer the connections over from the old one to the new one in exactly the same way then the new one should work just fine. And now I've got the new timer all connected up, I can just clip that back into place. And now I can put the top panel of the oven back on. Now I'm gonna use the photo that I took from before to help me put the buttons back on the front. And now the buttons are back on, I can turn the power to the oven on again. Now when power is interrupted to the oven, it tends to reset the clock um, and that stops the oven from functioning. Um, if I just turn it on, um, neither the circulation fan or the light have come on in the oven. So if I just reset the clock like so, you can see the circulation fan has come on and so has the light and that indicates that the timer is working. Now all I need to do is reset the clock and I can reinstall the oven back into its housing. Spares for ovens and other appliances are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>